first episode of Search Bulls Reptiles in a long time. Hi, I'm David. What's up, David? Hey there. You're one of the reasons why I actually got involved in breeding ball pythons. Top of the morning, friends and family. We're out here at the Tinley Park Reptile Expo in Chicagoland, and we're going to do a <laughs> we're going to do a uh, video on the project that I've been working on for ball pythons. It's kind of been my end goal for ball pythons as far as breeding. I've talked about it a lot here, and one of the breeders at the show has actually produced at least the triple visual part of that snake and I believe it's the first one that we're gonna be able to see I have not seen it yet I'm gonna see it with you guys for the first time before we do that you know I just want to touch on this is the first time I've been to this show in Chicago where I actually got to go to downtown Chicago and have some fun yeah somehow we always just came out and went to Tinley Park and, and never to downtown Chicago just because we're here at the show but we had a little extra time this time with the Freedom Breeder crew and, and made that happen but uh, let's go on the show see if we can't find Kevin from Brad Boa and Yo! Hey, big shout! Come on! Loud! Loud! Hi! Let's go find that snake. Oh, that's loud. Hey, we just streamlined hey, it to you? a... How's the baby? What's going on? How are you? Uh, Alright, so we're here at Brad Boa Reptiles. Brad Boa is the company that produced the first Sunset Clown Pied, and they've got it back there. I'm trying. I'm trying not to look at it yet. They're getting their lights set up right now, and as soon as they get these lights all set up, then we're gonna we're gonna show you guys, and we'll talk a little bit about it. And um, yeah, we'll go from there. All right. Full disclosure: I may have accidentally just seen it out of the corner of my eye. Brock Wagner Reptiles was holding it under his lights, and I think I saw it for a second. And I think it was really beautiful. But you know, I'm gonna just I'm gonna let Brock talk about it because Brock talks pretty well and I'll just have him hold it, show it, talk about it, say what he says, and then I'll say what I say after Brock. Sound good? Sounds good. I feel like I recognize that back. Here's the wideness of the back. We don't, they don't make them like that over here in America. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess they do, but it's got that UK cut. How you doing today, Brian? Good. <laughs> so this is the Sunset Clown Pied. Um, Brad just produced this for us. I think she looks amazing. I love the contrast. I'm glad it's not super high white. It has just the amount of uh, white in the animal that I think it made it look really cool. And I love how it kind of like took the pattern of the sunset and destroyed it, but also mellowed out. I don't know if you can kind of see that in the light. And that, that's really neat. So, I'm really loving it. What do you think of it? I would want to add more pattern. I, mean, I think, think the colors that. So, tell me what you think of this. This is what I've always kind of had Sunset Clown Pied in my like. That this, yes, and not about. just my hemisphere, but like as one of the like pinnacles, like I hope to produce before you know I have grandkids, yeah. and because <laughs> I'm on a slow, I'm on the slow road to doing it. But yeah. but uh, the the genes I was thinking that would make it, to, that would take this is obviously a great palette to start with. Yes. I was thinking, Enchi, yellow belly, and cinnamon black pastel, something and, like that. And you're right on your thinking with the Enchi because the Enchi will uh, increase the pattern on the snake. So you're 100 percent correct there. I, would, I like what you're thinking with the inchy for sure because you're going to definitely increase the uh, increase uh, the pattern and less white. Yellow belly, we both know yellow belly is a great enhancer gene when it comes to our sunsets. I would definitely throw yellow belly in there. Honestly, I do think you're onto something with the black pastel idea or blackhead. On average, you don't want to just make a black pastel sunset, right? But layering it wise, I think that we're in a couple of years going to see some pretty dynamic combos come out when we have combos layered on there. I think especially in the clown or the pides. So I don't, I don't think, I don't think you were far off on that. One gene that people really forget is gene X. Oh, so yeah. gene X, gene X, what I've noticed will actually bring pattern back. Yeah, it and sharpens also everything throw, up. Yeah, dude, on another level, um, I can show you a fire yellow belly gene, gene X pied, and it's just nuts. So bringing in gene X in that as well, I think would bring in more pattern and amplify the the sunset stuff. I would definitely so, agree yeah, with that. Definitely, hundred percent. Winston and Gavin, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Sorry for butting in. No, 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 please do. Yeah. Hey, how's it going, everyone? Welcome back to the channel, obviously. Wait, 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 which channel? This is my channel. No, this, this is my channel. No, we're dude, 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 channel. dude, we said we'd, we'd vlog for my channel. No, I, we're vlogging for my channel right now. Dude, that, that's not what we said. We said that you would come on my channel and help me because you've got more subscribers than me. That's I don't know if that's said. true, uh, but I do know that we're filming for my channel right now. That's what we're doing. This is my channel. 
also, there is a wrestling match happening here. There's a grappling match that I mentioned before for US Arc and Legacy Aquarium. We're gonna check that out before this video is over too. It's happening tonight, so yeah. Hiding in the bushes. Why am I hiding in the bushes? What are your projections for tonight's uh, grappling matches? Well, like any event that involves combat, it's gonna be maybe a match that probably gonna end early, because, <laughs> you know, but it's six minutes long, so that's plenty of time to kind of get some stuff off. So I wanna see some real good slams. I wanna see some people in trouble. I wanna see people fighting out of submissions, like their back being taken, some arm locks and leg locks or whatever, because everything goes tonight, by the way. So there's no holds barred. Wait, 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 I like no eye gouging or nothing, right? Huh? Well, yeah, but I mean, as far as legit like submission holes, you can gotcha. do anything. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. I mean, like in the in the WWE form of like no holes bar, but yeah, it's gonna be a good time, man. I hopefully, um, I'm hoping that we raise at least 25k tonight for US Arc. So the Sunset Clown Pied. My initial thoughts are that it needs more pattern. I think that the colors are good. I think the amount of white patches versus not white are good. Um, but I just think that there needs to be more interesting stuff brought into the pattern to make it cool, which is, you know, the, the end game was never just Sunset Clown Pied in my mind. It was, you know, as I've mentioned before, Enchi, Yellow Belly, Black Pastel, or Cinnamon, somewhere in there, I think. I, so main point being, seeing the Sunset Clown Pied has not deterred me from wanting to continue pursuing that project, which is great. <laughs> This is the most well-behaved little crested gecko I've ever had the opportunity to interact with. Just, dude is just cruising, just checking out the scene. I mean, look at this. Before this video is over, Eden here has inspired Garrett and myself to do something. We'll let you know before the video is over, I promise. But I just want to show what she got here. What did you get here, sis? I got my very first reptile that is not a snake. It is a uh, Lichianus gecko. And I am a dwarf retic keeper, thanks to Garrett Hartle, uh, and a regular retic uh, re keeper, thanks to my own insanity. Uh, but this is my little guy. Um, his name is Powell, which is the my favorite bookstore in Portland. Um, and I'm hoping that he's eventually gonna be a pocket buddy and can kind of go on my shoulder with me around town because I really miss being able to take something out to educate people with. And it, I haven't really been able to take my snakes out like I used to when I lived in Arkansas, so I'm hoping I can use him to kind of, I don't know, get people asking questions. All right, ask questions. All right, this is our moment. We have time. We have a few seconds here. Come Go. On. All right, so I don't know exactly how much money that wrestling match ended up raising. You'll have to ask Antoine. Go over and check out High Desert Pythons on Instagram, or if you want to see a full unedited clip of all the matches, you can watch that on High Desert Pythons channel as well. But what I really want to talk to you guys before we end the video is that Garrett and I are going to do our first episode of Search Bulls Reptiles in a long time. Oh, man. Yeah. I have a lot to talk about. Yeah, <laughs> there's a lot to talk about. So how it's long gonna, has it been? It's been months. I mean, Months, so, not a year? Not, uh, Probably I, the better part of a year. Yeah, yeah, maybe the worst part of a year, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, a lot to talk about. <laughs> so go check that, it'll be actually uploaded tomorrow as you're watching this video. If this video, if you watch this video the day it came out, then we'll be uploading that episode tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. And, uh, and you guys will have to thank Eden in the comments if you like the searchable as reptiles because she twisted our ears and said, it's my favorite podcast, you need to do it again. Yeah, so, so we're going to do it. For you, Eden. Yeah, we're going to do it. 
You guys take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and we'll see you on the next video. Hello! Oh, wait, wait, doesn't that mean goodbye and hello? Yeah, that's why you're right. doing it again. Aloha! This is Richard. He uh, has been cheating on his wife for six months, and his buddy over here, Dave, um, it's not actually raining, but he's just uh, a little bit touched. And then this guy back here, this is Steve. Steve's actually a pretty decent guy. And so he has a bow tie. <laughs> As close as we can get to the bean.